with this film, you you gave me a script that had about I don't know probably nine. Yeah, maybe nine song ten songs moments. in in, yeah. the, in the script. Just an idea of what it could be, or just a funny title. And that's often the start of the song is the thing that I find amusing in the title. Sometimes they don't work, sometimes they do. And then it's that thing that once we have the 10 ideas, and it's really up to Brett as to which ones kind of speak to him and the ones that he thinks make musical sense. But the key for me is always to try and have the songs move the story along a little bit. Where if I, the songs should be imparting knowledge about the story. That really helps because otherwise it does tend to somehow take you out of the film. So Brett's brilliant, obviously lyrically, so useful that he needs to kind of tell a story and be funny at the same time, which is a great challenge, but he pulls it off with a plumber every time. So, you know, I, I just kind of have initial thoughts about what they could be and then Brett takes it to the next level kind of thing. Yeah, it turned it into a bigger song, but it, it's best when, I think it works best when, the, yeah, like, like you say, when the original idea is a funny idea. Yeah, inherently. Yeah, like we're doing a sequel. It was just a great idea for a song because it's <laughs> it's just everyone knows that sequels aren't that good. And just to openly admit that at the top of the film, yeah, yeah, just sort of let everyone it relaxes yeah, yeah. the audience into I, knowing I had like, one, we know what's going on here. I had one line I really wanted to put in, but we never worked it out, which is that uh, sequels they cost twice as much and they're half as good. <laughs> Yeah, that's <laughs> which I thought was a really funny line, yeah. but very hard to work in the meter for that. I understand. So yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, some yeah. James's ideas don't always rhyme. No, that's that's one <laughs> issue. That's one issue. That's true. But then if they did, <laughs> he wouldn't need me. <laughs> <laughs> not true. Not true. Because all these songs have to be written before. Yeah. Before they film, and not just be written, they need to be pretty much fully recorded by the actors doing them with arrangements so that when they're shooting the video they know what's happening in the song and um you know james gets busier and busier and moved to london <laughs> to get ready to shoot and i was in new zealand <laughs> and i get these emails like uh what's happening with that verse have we got that verse because i need to plan this video because yeah. there's a whole team of art department waiting to yeah. build something right because obviously the, from my from my description of, uh, of the song which often wouldn't be part of the script i'd make it a, this in the script it'd be just be a strap line for the song and it'd be a very brief description of what the song would be. But off, off that would be like a four-page Word document yeah. telling you what the song would be visually. So the art department would get this probably very late and always freak out. Going, yeah. What is this? I love, Where did this come from? I love <laughs> that sort of meeting with the production meetings. The art department's there going, uh, when are you going to tell us what we've got to build for this song? This song? What's it going to be? And then suddenly you're like, yeah, yeah I want a disco club. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah, it's great. it's great. And it worked out. It was all right. Yeah, awesome. Luckily, they were brilliant.